Hey guys, I'm doing my foundation routine today. Um, <clears throat> usually every day I start out with an SPF uh, sunscreen, which is the Mary Kay's Time Wise Day Solution with the sunscreen SPF of 25, and it looks like this. Um, however, since I'm not going out in the sun, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do your mo my moisturizer. You can go ahead and do your, um, put on a, a sunscreen even if it isn't sunny outside or you're not going outside, but why? Um, my battery is pretty low, so I don't know how well I'm going to do on this video. Um, and secondly, after that, I use my time-wise time -wise age fighting solution because you want to start out with your thinnest to thickest um, lotions. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to your skincare regimen, I put about this much on there, which is probably too much from what the most um, people would recommend, makeup artists and estheticians would recommend. They usually say a pea size. I usually say a pea size, but I like to pile on products and I like to bring them down to my neck. And you always want to go in a circle of motion and you try not to be rough with your skin, I think. Sometimes we tend to be a little rougher with our skin because of stress and once we're putting on a moisturizer we think that we're It just feels so much better to rub it in but you really want to not stress your skin out because it goes through enough as it is um, Okay with that secondly, I'm going to use the Mac Studio Fix and NC um, Mac Studio Fix Fluid and NC 50 which I think might be a little too dark for me it might be a summer color um but it blends pretty well. I think I need to go up to NC45 during the winter. And I'm going to go ahead and use the e.l.f. foundation brush and go ahead and apply some of the product to my Coastal Scents palette, which I tend to work off of. And I put a very little, very little of that product on there because, like I said, I'm not doing much today. I'm going to get started. to the hairline. I would have some music on but my Pandora isn't working right it's on my phone so and you have to be careful with these type of paint brushes because or makeup brushes since they're tint they're like similar to the paint brushes because they'll leave a streak the you know um, when you're applying your foundation, especially the thinner the foundation is, the more water based it is, the more likely you are to get streaks. However, you can pat and swipe. Kind of what I'm doing is patting and swiping a mixture of the two is what you want to do. And of course, bringing it to the hairline, patting it to the nose. I don't know how much of this I'm going to have, um, time I'm going to have on my battery, but let's just hope it works with me. And not against me. Bring it down to the neck area. Blah blah blah. That's my foundation. Okay. Um, secondly, borderline OCD. Shh, don't tell anyone. Secondly, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Mac Studio Sculpt Concealer in NC the NW40, and apply that under my eye area. I'm going to hear tons of noise because I'm um, washing clothes and I'm just patting that under the eye area to blend it and not get, not lose my coverage but keep my coverage moist, um, keep my coverage in smoothness. And this is good to bring up to the eyebrow area if I wanted to line my eyebrows which are pretty, they're in pretty good shape so I'm not going to focus on that. You can always apply your concealer anywhere else you want to to lighten up any other area you might want to. Okay. 
Then I'm going to use my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer um, in NW40 as well and apply that onto my hand. Try to control how much I take. pump out of that because that pump tends to force out tons of product that you don't need. And again, I'm patting under my eye. Focus on this corner area. Bring it down to an up, upside down triangle. Bring it up on my eyes. This is very optional. This is just something I do, especially when you have extra product on your hand. But it's always best to use that ring finger because it fits right underneath the eye area. Upside down triangle. Bring it up. Again, this is very optional, but it helps mute out that color of your lid or match your lid color to your foundation. So I like to do that. And of course, if you have extra, you can always apply the concealer or whatever you want. And I tend to do it on my lips because I like how it shows up. And I like the base it applies for my um, lipstick and lip gloss that's totally optional but it's it's good to do okay next I'm going to use my MAC um, Studio Fix found, uh, powder I'm sorry in C7 and my elf brush elf powder brush and just stipple it into the skin to set my foundation Patting it. Oh, that's the train. <laughs> and again, patting in your um, powder will help it to blend well and kind of seep into the skin to make it very natural and buffed. And you can always go back and buff it out some if you want. But I rarely do that. I like the stippling motion better. I just feel like it gives me more coverage. Bring it down to the neck. Next thing I'm going to use my MAC Strip Down Go To Liner. And this is just to line my lips, have some liner on my lips, so that when I apply my lipstick, I'll just have something to follow. I'm going to use the NYX Cream Lipstick. That's what it looks like. And it's more of a nude a frosted nude then I'm going to use NYX soft matte lip cream in London and apply that and it's more of a pinkier nude but of course these are matte so it tends to come up a little more dry than the lipstick but since I have a lipstick underneath it blends well and this is the finished look so there you have it that's my simple yet fast foundation routine and I hope to see you guys soon thanks bye